Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Big George. This is Jen, and we're Thin Sight. And today we're going to work the legs, okay? We're going to do a therapeutic TheraBand workout using the TheraBands working the legs. And today's movement or today's body part that we're going to hit are the hips, okay? Jennifer right now is going to, she's going to show you how to properly place your feet. Now, there is an improper way. We're going to show you that first. Toe placement, working your hips is everything, okay? Jennifer, please show them what we're talking about. As you see, what you want to do when Jennifer's coming out, you don't want your toe to come up. When your toe comes up, you work more of your inner thigh or adductor. That's fine, but that's not what we're trying to do right now. Right now, we're specifically focusing on the hip, okay? So to work the hip right, we must keep the foot flat, okay? That way, when it's flat, It'll flex. By making it flex, you work your hip flexors. Okay, come on out again, Jen. Right, now, right now, Jennifer's doing these one side at a time. She can do them in an alternating fashion. Now, what's important about working the hips, ladies, is this. Now, when you're trying on a pair of jeans or a skirt, okay, you can look at yourself from the front and everything's nice. You can even look at yourself from the side and everything's nice. But unless you have a JCPenney mirror in your house and you switch this way for the panoramic view, we're going to have a problem. Okay, so this is why it's important to make sure we're working the hips and we're keeping them as slender as we can. Okay. Now, the next exercise that we're going to do for our legs are TheraBand squats, okay? Right now, Jennifer is going to get into place to show exactly what we're going to do. Now, of course, the TheraBands, just as if we were using dumbbells or any type of machine, is going to create the tension to work, this, work the legs. And when I say legs, I'm saying legs totally. That means the quadriceps, which are the frontal part of your legs, as well as the hamstring compartment, okay? So now, the lower you go, the more total leg development that you do get. Right now, Jennifer is gonna show us how to squat properly. Now notice, she keeps her head up, okay? And she has her back flat. She pushes her glutes out as well as down. Why? Because we wanna keep all the pressure on the heels. When you press from the heels, we keep that pressure, okay, or the tension right here in the rear where it belongs. We don't want to put it on the knees because that's where you get a whole lot of knee problems. And the doctor said, why your knee hurt? You say, because I'm doing these. So he says, stop doing it. So we don't want to do that no more, okay? We want to put the pressure where it belongs, okay? Notice she's coming down. She's not bending too far over or too far back. She's keeping a posture, coming down, and coming up. Okay, now I do want you guys to take note the way Jennifer is holding the TheraBands. On the other exercises, like chest and back, she was using the handles. The only reason why she's not right now, she's gripping a little bit lower to create more tensions because the TheraBands are long. So remember, once again, the lower you go in gripping, the more tension that you're going to get on your legs. Okay, now for our last leg movement using TheraBands, we're going to work the glutes. By working the glutes, we're also going to primarily work the glutes, but secondarily, we're going to work the hamstring compartment, all right? Now, Jennifer's going to show you a really cool way to work the glutes by using the TheraBands. What she's going to do is she's going to take one side and loop it into the other one, okay? And it's going to go pretty tight, you know, right around the ankle. Don't worry, we're not going to turn blue or lose blood, but we want it nice and snug around the ankle. And she, once again, is going to create her own tension. So she's going to bring the third band up top and hold, okay? Now from here, once again, she's going to get her body into position, and then she's going to pull her leg totally back. She's going to pull backwards and squeeze the glutes. Remember, everything right now is in execution, okay? As she comes down as well as when she comes up. And I want you to notice something very important. As she comes down, look at this. She's not touching the floor, so she's keeping continuous tension on the muscle. Very important. If you have to tap down, you're resting. We don't need to rest. We need to work. That's our problem now. So as we come down, notice she's coming back and pause right there. We want the glute to tighten, okay? It's the gluteus maximus. It doesn't mean the biggest muscle, but it does mean the strongest. And remember now, as we go through, whether it's hips, whether it's quads, whether it's your hamstrings or glutes, always remember, train at your own pace. Train hard, but train smart.